Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and in the last episode, we went ahead and put miners on all of these patches in preparation for having a train station here. So I want to go and take um, these uh, power poles, maybe, and just connect up these um, areas so that we have light. And I didn't really want to connect the ore. Nope. <laughs> Whoops, uh, but it'll be fine. No doubt it'll be just fine. Okay. Yes, I didn't really want to do that because I didn't want ore on the end of the lines. I was just too greedy for light, I'm afraid. Um, but anyway, what we want to do here is put the ore into some boxes so that a train can come and pick it up. So I think what we'll do is we're going to have loading uh, thingy majingies here. So how do we want to do this? Uh, th this is actually quite a good thing here. Maybe we'll just use this. This is quite easy, nice and simple. And then we can load these from the other side. All we need to have here is probably a turnaround. So we'll go ahead and get our uh, tracks out here so that we can turn around easily. Get the station put here. Boom. Okay, and then we'll change the color of the station, of course, because we can't be asked to have this completely wrong color. Okay, we need to go here, go this way, about halfway on the green. And we're going to call this copper ore pickup mm, two, maybe. We have a copper one. I'm not actually sure if that's copper plates or copper ore. That's my fault in not being more specific, I have to say. All right, how many lines do we have? One, two, three, four, five ish, five, six, uh, with one, two, three, four, five and a half. So we have about 10. I think we can shuffle that down to maybe eight, and that'll be good going into uh, these things. Now, the question is, yeah, we probably should get an eight to eight balancer, which is in our blueprint book. Uh, by the way, you can pick up these balancers on factorioprints.com. I do not offer them on my blueprint drive because I just don't want to maintain them. I have many, many things to do uh, on a daily basis, and I don't want to have to check for updates to these things. So please find them there. Um, the other blueprints that I have uh, come up with are, are on my drive, of course, except for train stations. Those are homework. Okay. Let's get this going. There we go. There we are. Take these down. Perfect. Now then those are all connected up. I think, okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Now this one can immediately be merged into this thing. And we're going to just take this back there along that way. Um, let's see, hold on. I didn't want to do that exactly that way. Want to make, what we want to do is put this on both sides of the belt like this and then merge it in. There we go. One, two, three, four, five still. Um, I think we'll take this one down and merge it with this one. Okay, cool. And we're just going to grab some belts. There we go. Very, very nice. Okay, threes. Okay, excellent. That works. Very nice. All right, so that's one patch connected. Um, and then we need to just get the other patch going on. So we'll take these and oh, look at this. They're all going off into their next directions. Yay. Okay, then we'll connect those up in just a bit. 
Now, I probably possibly should be using undergrounds for transporting things this long of a distance, but I don't know if I have enough on me. I do have a few, but it's kind of like, well, it'll be fine, I'm quite sure, right? It'll be fine. I will admit that sometimes my playing is inconsistent because of, um, well, just either I don't want to go back to the world and get some of this stuff, or it just seems easier to do it another way. One, two, three, four, five. Again, I think we can combine maybe these two. But last time that we played, we didn't actually get to the mega base, um, uh, standing of needing the FPS. So I'm not that terribly worried about it, to be perfectly honest. Or Frank, I should say. Because I'm always honest. But frankness, sometimes you don't always have to say all the things. But yes, now we're saying all the thi- Really? <clears throat> yes. It's fine. It's really fine. I will collect an extra belt here. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Uh-huh. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's fine. No worries. In any case, we're going to connect this over here. Life will be better. And these guys will be connected over here. There we go. And then the whole thing connected to the main line. Now I'm going to go and grab some more belts. That was very entertaining, I have to say. <clears throat> well, not as entertaining as I might like to think, but anyway, it's fine. Okay, let's grab also some nanobots because I'm short on those guys. Do we have any signals? Oh, we don't have any signals. That's um, something we need to rectify. Actually, let's take this back out. We can put the copper into the chests over here. Uh, let's just do that. Here, take this. Thank you very much. And we do actually have these uh, thingy majingies, so we'll grab this. Oops. There we go. There we are. We now have stuff happening. We have ore coming along the lines. Do we have any miners that are not powered? It looks fine. Okay, great. That is very, very good. Now then we have, do we have no lights? We don't have any lights here. Can't let the trains get scared. Very important thing. Okay, there we are. Now we had the issue of no fuels. Let us not forget that. I want to also put down some radars, put one down here, and probably also along here somewhere, possibly like here-ish. Now then, I want, I need to get some coal pushed along here. See, this would be a perfect spot to put in a uh, yellow belt because red belt is absolutely not needed for this at all. It's just not. Okay. Okay, miner, let's see. Do we have a miner? Yes, we have 50, good. Excellent. 129, 141K, wow, that's a lot. I think that'll be enough. That will be totally, completely enough from there. Okay, miner is now functioning and bringing coal. Very nice. And we'll just take this coal line up. Really? Okay, there we go. This is a big waste of yellow belts, or red belts, I should say. It's not even yellows. No. All right, now we're going to have the fun bits, which is going to be... Okay. There we go. All right, and we need to just go this way. That's the light there. Oh. How sad. Oh, we don't need a second one. What am I thinking? Okay, um, we actually need this to go one further over. 
so that we can do box. Do we have any wood? Yes, we have one wood. One box, please. Thank you. Okay, good. We'll limit this to one square and a power pole. Excellent. Now then. All right, let's go. Oh, and no more belts again. No, no, no. Sadness. We're really using up the belts this time, though. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right, cool. So the train should be ready to come in here. Now, the question for us is how, how are we going to get this onto the main line? Do we want a parking lot? I don't think we actually need anything major in terms of parking lots. I think we can just do like two trains worth maybe or three. How many is this? I really wish there was a signal thing that I could just put in automatically five away and not have to count this every time. That would be so nice. How far is that? Okay, I think right here is good. I'm just check and make sure. I know you can do it the opposite way. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's perfect. But going one way, it doesn't work as well as the other. Okay, so let's go here and we'll do with this. Oops. Okay, this is not working the way I want it to. Okay. Rails in. Boom. I love those rails in junctions. I remember creating those on the Belt Diva every single time. Oh my gosh, they were annoying. So yeah, I'm happy to have them normalized, fixized, whatever thing eyes now that they are. They're so good. All right, let's go ahead and do this diagonal here. Like this. Are we out of tracks? Yes, we are. Wow. Okay, let's go back and get the tracks then. Very nice. Okay, cool. Okay, let's see if this will fit. Yes. There we go. Very nice. And we're missing one of these guys. Okay. All right, and that's plenty enough. We have nowhere to do anything else right now with this. So I think that's just going to have to do for us right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this moved along. Let's shift click this. And we need, oh dear, really? Seriously? Okay. Yeah, we're going to move this. <laughs> That being apparently in a particularly inconvenient spot. Right. Let's go this way. Uh, and we will also go this way. Good. Okay, cool. And now we will mark these crossings, which they need to be. Let's go ahead, first of all, and do trees and rocks only. We need to clear out some of this area because it's going to be difficult to see the signals unless we clear it. Okay, now then, let's go ahead and just get these signals organized here. I'm going to have a crossing here, so we put our chain signal there. Uh, and on the release, we will put a regular signal. We'll just put it after this crossing. Now then, um, take this one out for now. Uh, chain signal here because of this crossing. Uh, and we do need to actually put another signal here to make sure that these are not in the middle of blocks. All right, and this crossing, we'll put the signal out here for that. This one, we don't need that tiny block in the middle. That's just fine. 
Um, but we do need something here. We do need a chain signal because you can see this is all one block. So let's just put that there. And that is looking fairly fabulous. I think we're good uh, on this. So that should work very nicely. I do need to look at this huge block, though, of this. We need to put a signal just to uh, close off the train block here so that when this train pulls out of the station and goes this way, uh, the next train can pull in very easily. OK, I think I think we're done. Uh, let us go. And our regular train is parked here. This should be just fine. Uh, let's go and find the other train real quick. It's under base. Oh, it's this one, actually. Okay, base off. Copper ore drop off. And we're going to go to copper ore pick up two. Okay, inventory full. So go here, please. So we're going to watch this come along here. Make sure it comes to the right place, right time. All the things are going to be right in the world. You can tell it's going to be wonderful and all the good things are going to happen. And we could even ride this back to the station. I should, what I should do with my regular train here is, though now it's not even an issue, uh, have it go to a train called A or Temp or whatever you want to call your temporary train station. Uh, and it will kind of like respond to when you want it to, to go. If you make like these little temporary train stops, you can keep it on the same train station the whole time. Okay, let's put our... Uh, radar there so we can see all the things there's our train coming along it's a bit slow but it's a very very long distance what i want to do is i'm going to ride the train back uh to our copper uh furnace area and it'll be very exciting there it comes there it comes yay okay cool so we're gonna get fueled first uh we are just massively getting this copper in here four loaders at a time which is great. These are the red loaders. Of course, we'll be able to upgrade them to blues soon, very, very soon. So I think all we need to do, let's see, we've done the, the something that was not on the list. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. It's fine. Okay. Is this done? Did we finish? Not yet. 1.6 there, 2.0. That's strange. Wait, hold on. Well, hold on. There's something wrong. Did we run out of, like, chests or something down here? Is that what's going on? Ah, look at this. We have no chests or insufficient chests. Let's see if I have any in the train. I knew there was something wrong. They should have all filled up at the same time and gone. Uh, oh, well then. Okay, let's just make a couple of chests then. Put them in. Okay, there they go. Nice. All right, and we're off. Okay. Go home to the base and deliver all this stuff for the first usage in our furnace. And it's a good thing that we're going along because I've just now remembered that I forgot to add in the um, modules to the uh, the factory there. So that's going to be a good thing to add. Traveling the train along the high plains. This is quite a long distance actually here, This this train network spreads far and wide across the landscape and of course that's by design so that we get the most resources furthest away from the base that's how they spawn in so that's a good thing keep on trundling along in our little train all right cool when i was in norway i had the great privilege of uh, and pleasure of being able to travel in several trains uh, along the way, both in a, inner city trains and also the long distance trains. And it was so nice. Oh, I love trains. Of course, those are electric trains and they're very quiet, very, very quiet. Um, you wouldn't even hear them come by. Uh, you might actually get run over if you are uh, extremely, um, well, not watching where you're going and fall off the platform and that sort of thing. Okay, here we go. We have speed modules going and here we are. The boom is real. I'm going to cut off this stuff though at the moment because we need to get these guys organized. I think we're going to do that list. Uh, connect the base lines. Uh, oopsies. Let's go away. Shoo. Thank you. Um, and I guess that would mean disconnecting these other lines for now. 
at least. Let's see, I think one of these, no, though, those are blue circuits. So let's find a way. Well then, so this is actually the third line. This is not even the first line that's connected here. Um, so that's this one here. If I put this line here, what the heck is this? It's a signal. Oh dear. Yes. <clears throat> uh huh. This goes there. I think I can keep those other lines in place. I think I will definitely prioritize the input from the right, from the upper part here. All right, and here's where we're gonna have our main first copper line come in. And that will come in <laughs> on the line that you never really wanna use. In fact, we're not going to use it. I don't think we should use it because this is actually quite dangerous. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We have no choice at the moment, do we? Aha, uh -huh. right. So the thing about this is that the reason you wouldn't want to use a, a belt here is because of if you were to walk on the side, I would really not like to be pushed along like this. So that might just be my own proclivity. You never can tell. terrible at estimating how long these should be. Uh, okay, let's get this one to go this way. But yeah, okay, there we go. Uh, and this one will come in right there. that. Okay, so that's the way we're going to take the first line. These other lines, um, yeah, we're going to have to try to fit them in. So that's going to be this one removed. Uh, these others we're just going to put in line as we can. So we'll have this one connecting here, we hope. This is most interesting. Um, that one works there. Good. This one. That one will work there. Okay, good. Just want to make sure that we can get these guys across where we need to, them to be. Oh, wow, that does not work well, does it? Oh, shoot. Because if I put this here, this will also load onto this green circuit line, which is definitely not ideal. Uh, we can move this, though. We can move this one up here. Like that. Oh, the spaghetti is so real here. Okay, so prioritize to the right, please. Or input priority, not output. Pardon me. Okay, good. Now then, the next one... Can move this one slightly here and then this one this one's gonna have to go there to the third one actually though the third one's already being filled right from that one so this one will have to be the fourth one I think okay, we'll, we'll get it sorted somehow it'll be fine Okay, there's this one. Paste that. Okay, so now we need to get this one into the second one somehow, which is going to be most interesting. Um, I feel like I'm right back at the beginning of the game where they had all those funky puzzles to do. Um, yes, yes, indeed. doesn't actually fit very well here at all. We have issues here. Okay, so this one has to be this way. Not really, though. Okay. 
because this one has to go this way and this one has to come out there and like this this one prioritized from the left right okay so now this one <laughs> and this is the extra fun part um that one can go there yes this one needs to go like this and it's still not the right spot but we can make it in the right spot it'll be fine okay prioritize that one to that one okay looking pretty darn good all right so that's what we want to happen i think okay so this one goes here to the first line this one goes to the fourth line this one goes to the second line and then the third line is being fed from here hey <laughs> if felt spaghetti works you might as well do it right <laughs> nice okay cool we got it all sorted let's get the copper rolling then um yeah this one is not connected on purpose that one will go that way all right good deal actually what i could do though it wouldn't matter in the long run with uh throughput i think to add extra here nah it's fine it's fine okay good so now we have this working yay all right i think that's probably a good place to end the episode because the rest that we need to do all right so we did this the rest is the batteries. Uh, we're going to save that new copper outpost for a later episode since we now have um, at least alleviated one thing from this, the workload of this furnace. We have added a second furnace to the game, which is kind of nice. So we're going to have to find a place to add our batteries in. Here's where we have sulfur uh, being made. Sulfuric acid is over here. So I think we're going to need a, a blue factory or cyan colored factory to make the batteries. And we are going to need, I think, iron and copper for that. Or is it just copper? I've forgotten now. Batteries. Here we are. Yeah, iron and copper. That's what I thought. So logistically getting that to there shouldn't be too big of a problem. The only thing that I'm worried about is, of course, the copper plates here. Do we have anything up here that could uh, be kind of snuck in around here? Okay, so this is our base area. I was hoping that there's like some close factory here that we could use, but there really isn't. This one, however, is quite close to both iron and copper. Um, sulfur train would have to travel a little bit further, but that's not really an issue. Um, possibly could even use local smelting of, oh, there's even iron over here. How handy. Uh, but we don't really need that. We'll just take a train, uh, for each of those ingredients. Oh my God. I have so much copper. I probably should, uh, drop that off in places since that's something I don't need to carry around. Not on a regular basis anyway. There we go. Nope. This is full actually already. Wow. It's like, no, way too much copper. Go away. All right, let's go up, go up here and... Oh, we don't even have the ability to recycle this stuff. Oh, dear. It's fine. <laughs> we'll just dump it off somewhere uh, and it'll be okay. But anyway, I think we've done really well for this episode. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.